G'day viewers, this week we're heading north once again. The lads in Queensland have hijacked the show and the tracks are even tougher. I'm done. A nice pass. Woo! <laughs> I'm Simon Christie and this is Life Off-Road. G'day guys, Chris from Tread. Now I've grabbed my mates from Queensland again to take you out in this beautiful four wheel drive park located in south of Brisbane. This is the Scenic Rim Adventure Park. Next door is a mountain bike park. So not only are we going to use horsepower this trip, we're going to use some pedal power too. I'm looking forward to hitting the trails, now let's get out there. Chris has got the band back together. Uh, we're all here again, same crew as last time. So Chris jumps on the phone, he says, we're heading to Scenic Rim Adventure Park. Are you in? I'm like, I'm in. Bought the 200 series again. Done a couple more things since the last trip. Rear diff lock, new wheels and tyres, treads on the roof. It's gonna be cool to see the difference. I'm super pumped. I'm on my first trip out here with the boys. And not only is it my first trip, but it's the first trip for our Baja Boss Wrangler. We've got the big black GU out this time. I'm keen to see what these tracks are like because I know what the patrol can do. Mate, have you seen how many tracks are on this place? Oh, look at all these tracks. There's heaps on there. I've got the Colorado back again. We're putting the new tread adapter bracket on the side, so I've taken the treads off the roof. Last trip, Brendan had his boards mounted to the top of his car. So we thought we'd make it easier for him should he need to get access to his boards. We've got some of our mounting kit equipment and we're gonna set it up and make it easy for Brendan to recover should he need to. First track of the day, I told the boys, hey, let's do something nice and easy. You, I'm keen, buddy. I've been hanging out, waiting for this one. What do you think it looks like? Mate, this is just a nice little pinchy hill. It's got a couple of ruts, so it should be good to just get us going into the groove of it all. I think these guys should learn there's no such thing. I do sometimes like to mess with people's head. Oh no. Chris, I think you might have tricked me on this one. You said there was going to be a, a few easier tracks, but... We hear from the owner that it's uh, pump truck tracks. Chris was like, we're hitting the toughest track this place has ever had. And I'm just like, why did we pick that first? I got no idea. I'm keen to see how much grip's there because it doesn't look grippy. And I tell you, this is... This is a pretty epic start to the day. First track was the rock. We saw a couple of the guys try to go up there. Chris hit it pretty hard. I tell you what, I was probably more nervous than I needed to be. That wasn't, wasn't too bad, but it's a lot of fun. I can't wait for these more extreme tracks. I'm gonna get it done. Let's see if Barney can actually do a better job than the patrol. Hey Barney, you got those angry lights on, I think. Does that make you a better wheeler? Part of it does all the work, my friend. <laughs> all right, guys, next man up. Let's send him up. Right, we got Kyle up next. Pretty keen to give it a go. Um, it's a little bit looser now, the boys have uh, given a little bit of right foot kitten up there, but here we go. Didn't take any chances there. Flipped that rear locker on and just fed it. I knew if I stopped, it was all over. There was a bit of a boulder there. Yes, there were a couple of wombat holes and ruts, but that's what it's all about. You've got to get the adrenaline going. You've got to get the heart pumping. You've got to get into it. By then, I saw a bit of a crashing and banging and decided that the Colorado wasn't probably equipped to do that one. Dude, he just walked up there and like spit it onto you. Here we go, we're fourth vehicle up this hill. Everyone else made it up easy as. Let's get these airbags flexing, eh? Remember that rock? Yeah. There was a huge boulder in the middle of this hill. Barney pretty much dug it out though, so like <laughs> he exposed that whole rock. Yeah, 
Yes. Go, son. Yo. So what are we doing? Just, um, are we gonna winch this out? Hey guys, we're off for lunch. Lunch? Oh yeah, no worries. <laughs> Here we go, we're fourth vehicle up this hill. We're gonna send it. Everyone else made it up easy as. How's that lean? <laughs> I feel like we're in another situation. Seriously, it's good to have these blokes along, eh? Hey? We would be done if they went here. How was that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, looks pretty gnarly actually, watching the guys go up it there before. See what the Wrangler can do on the Baja bosses and see if we can't tame this mountain. Is that my That was like walk up. <laughs> Just a walk at the <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Is that a challenge? I don't know. I think he's inside there having a Chardonnay. Oh, no, <laughs> so, <laughs> oh. so what did we think of that, boys? That was uh, that was a bloody good start to the day with a hill like that. Where's the next actual challenge, boys? Come on. Mate, there's a red track that's got your name all over it. <laughs> talking it up, talking it up. Let's do it. Now, when we got to the adventure park, Wendy pointed out this red and black section and said, this is the real challenging section. This is the, this is the black one that she warned us about. And I think Wendy did that for good reason. This is a tough looking hill. Chris spotted it again. Right, we're going up there. This is, this is the hill. And it was. Because you're first up, bro, it's not slippy. You take the top layer, you're spitting big, I mean, big rocks, and then you got nothing. <laughs> that was so much fun. Isn't this why we build cars? Gosh, that was fun. Wow. This is what Chris spat out. I mean, that is how shale it is. I mean, it's just shales. Once you take the top layer off of the dirt and you spit all the rocks out, now it's turned into some mega rut. So, send it smartly. Watch Chris's lines. I got this. Build for me? Not really. Just trying to get the traction in the front, but that doesn't matter. We build it up, I hope we pop, and I reckon we just get to the next one. So we got this. Chris doesn't think so, but we got this. It's Barney, mate. You can get up anything. It looked a bit more easy than the last one, so I decided to give that one a crack. All right, here I go. 
I'm comfortable to get halfway up. It's just where those few step ups are. But like we said from the start, it's slow momentum, easing your way up there. Stage yourself, stop, pick your next line, go. It's not a full centered track on this one. So we'll get to where we can get to and go from there. Even the Colorado got almost halfway up there. Now we couldn't get him all the way, it was not worth breaking a CV. So we basically got him back down the hill, we got him around the back and we kept going through. This one I failed on, next one we'll, we'll give it a better crack there. I think I'll be all right. Looking forward to it, see if we can tame this big beast. That thing's a monster, it's a monster. Baja bosses on the Mickey Thompson Jeep hooked up and dug in when they needed to, so they did their job. Dude, that is not his first pick. He just walked up that. That is unbelievable. How good was that? That is awesome. I do have to say the Jeep made it pretty easy, but certainly still a challenge. That was awesome. Not gonna lie, a little bit nervous on this one. I know what the car can do. I think we'll get up, pick the lines, bit of help from the boys, and uh, let's see how we go. So the ridge crossing almost tame Kale's Immaculate 200 series. Bit more right foot than probably should have, but found some grip, jumped up the rock step. It was a lot more difficult than what we thought. A lot of people did need a hand in a lot of the step ups. We had to build some of those tracks up to get the traction in. It's a good drive. I didn't think he was going to grip, and then boom. That was pretty gnarly. That's probably one of the hardest tracks that this car's done. Surprising what that locker does. Awesome. We're just about to go up this monstrous hill, but you never learn unless you give it a good old crack. If we don't make it, all we can do is come back down. That's it, man. Easy. All right, let's give it a crack, eh? Yeah. So I'm just about to tackle this little section. There's a massive drop off, but I reckon Chris has got me here. Hats off to the boys for just keeping it in control, being on the line and having a lot of fun, and then car after car after car. It was an epic hill. Through your front, and it brought your front in because you came straight in. It was actually a nice line to watch. Mate, that was awesome. I'm loving it. We'll get you to accelerate on that and slowly bring it straight so we can get you that nice line up. It was good that I waited a long period of time there because I could see everyone going up there. Brendan, he tackled it in the Colorado and I was like, man, I've just got to do it. Just got to grow the bollocks and do it. That was awesome. How good was that? Probably the best drive yet. I'm super proud of the big bro. Yeah. Eh? I've finally done my first major hill. Best thing I've done so far. Glad you drove. Yeah, I had to. I had to do it. It was awesome, man. Yeah. Mate, my day. Nice.
All right, let's yeah. keep going. This is the last hill of the day. Been a long, hot day. This is a nice little pinch, a good way to finish the day. Definitely makes us earn the beers. So there's a nice cook up waiting for us back at home base. I, for one, am looking forward to it. Nice little rock step. <laughs> yeah. Next one up, please. I've done a bit of damage to my window on that big hill today, so it just isn't very good. So uh, hopefully, it doesn't like rain it. tonight, guys. I love this park. Woo. Yeah, boy. So good. That was such a fun hill. Wow. What a couple of hill climbs that we've just done. Barney, Chris, Brendan, Kale, everyone. They sent it up. Dude, so epic, loved it. Mate, and Kale 200. How about that? That thing just gripped and morged. That was insane. Nathan was sipping his latte on his way up the hill as well in the Jeep. What do you reckon we do a bit of a night run after Wendy's cookout? Dude, I'm 100% down for that. You got a track picked out yet, or we're just gonna figure it out as we go? I might have nosed my car into one or two tracks just to have a bit of a look. I think I've got a nice little spot for us. But one thing I've got to say, guys, is Wendy, as a host, is unbelievable. This place isn't normally open for people at night, but she has allowed a special permission to actually head out and get it done. So we've got to thank her tonight for that. Yeah, I think a night run here will be pretty spectacular. Welcome to Scenic Rim Adventure Park. We have 680 acres with over 25 kilometres of four-wheel drive track going from stock standard to extreme road registered vehicles. The easy tracks are for stock standard vehicles, so we're encouraging people who are coming into the four-wheel driving for the first time to come and use the park in a safe and controlled manner. We offer a semi-private campsite and the opportunity to go four-wheel driving. We're very much back to basic bush camping and we like to encourage kids, go climb a tree, go climb a rock. It was a fantastic day of four-wheel driving. We finished it off that night with a spread, an absolute spread put on by Wendy and her family. It's like, pretty much like a Christmas banquet. We were all wrecked afterwards. I looked like a Big Buddha, didn't I, <laughs> after that? <laughs> when don't you though? Yeah, it's true. After dinner, we hit the tracks and we did the night run. Now that brought a whole different experience to it. Four wheel driving at night and a whole heap of new challenges, but it was certainly so much fun. So straight after dinner, we went down for a bit of a night run track. Great idea, said to Chris, let's hit it. And it was really fun, lights on, blasting. Amazing scenery, everyone had their spotlights and headlights and high beams on, lit up the park amazingly. And then after that, we went back to camp, set up the fire to finish the night off around the campfire, as per usual, a good few laughs and a good few yarns, and then off to bed we went. Had a really good fire, couple of bevies, you and went then. You early though, didn't you? Yeah, you didn't really I went have to. A few bevies. <laughs> <laughs> He's lying. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to the Scenic Rim Adventure Park and our Queensland crew for a smashing day of off road action. Next week, the fun continues as the lads swap their 4x4s for off road machines with a little less horsepower. The boys are heading to the Tamarukum Creek Bike Park for some 4x4 and 2x1 off road fun. We'll see you then on Life Off-Road.